Okay, next I'm going, to, I'm going to walk you through taking that Tableau desktop file, the one that we created with a getting started video right here on the Tableau website. So I'm going to assume that you've got a Tableau account and you've gone through this whole 25 minute getting started video and completed that whole workbook that includes a bunch of uh, sheets, a, ta a dashboard, and a story. Uh, and I'm going to walk you through how to take what you created here, and I'll show you here in my, here we go, here's the, the resulting story dashboard. I'm going to use this chart right here. I'm going to try to take this and put it online on a Tableau public so that we can start using the JavaScript API to manipulate it and uh, learn some of those features. So I'm going to go back to this website because that is loading and it's trying to play. I'm just going to stop it by refreshing it here. All right. So here in Tableau, uh, before we can do this and put on Tableau public, we actually need to create a Tableau public account. So if, if you haven't done this already, you need to come here to public.tableau.com. Now this is separate from your Tableau account. Obviously it might be easiest if you use your same email and password to make it simple, but you do have to create this differently. So uh, I'm going to click sign in. Now I've already got an account. Obviously if you don't have one, go ahead and create it and get yourself signed in. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Oops, that didn't work, that's fine. All right, so here's a bunch of charts that I've already posted to Tableau Public. Now that I've got an account though created, let's go back into Tableau and obviously just pause this video if you don't have it. And what we're going to do is go up to, now you can't see it because I'm on a Mac, but let me, maybe I can move this up here and show it to you. Oh, no, I can't. Sorry. I'm going to click on Tableau. The option up at the top here that you're not seeing is server. And we're going to see my drop down box. You can see open workbook, publish workbook, data source. We, we have Tableau Public, we are going to save to Tableau Public as. Now, this is going to force me to sign in first with my Tableau Public account. Uh, I don't remember my password, we'll see if that's it. Oh, that's it, okay. So once you do it, you'll get this option. It says data extract required. It's got to take an extract of the data. Now, you may have already put your data source, I can't click on it now, but you may have already put it on extract mode. It needs to make, regardless of whether this desktop file is on extract or live data, it's going to make another extract and post it to Tableau Public. So I'm going to hit create data extract, specify how much data to add, all rows, I'm just going to hit extract. It's going to say, all right, where do you want to save this to? Um, orders, that's fine, save. There we go, give it a minute. Okay, now that that extract is created, go back again to server, Tableau Public, and save to Tableau Public as. So we just have to do the same thing twice in a row. The first time to create the second the extract, second time to save to Tableau Public. So I'm gonna give this uh, demo one is fine, I guess. I think I already, here's the other ones I already have saved to Tableau Public. Um, this is the, Global Superstore, I've done this before. Yeah, I'll leave this demo one. You can, you guys can name it whatever you feel like and hit save. So give it a moment. There we go. It's going to connect Tableau Public, run some queries, push everything up there. And in a second, here we go. It's going to open up. Our entire workbook has been saved here. And it says save complete, tweak the title, give a brief description, edit details. That's all down here. So we can hit that or just it got it and get rid of it and go down to the bottom. Either one, just come down here. You can change the name. I'll call this my YouTube demo. Um, we're not going to worry about this. This is the link of the website you're going to use it on. Uh, this is just the global superstore data used to show how to post to Tableau public, whatever. Toolbar settings. Um, we can show some things on the Tableau public chart. We can deselect these. Um, I prefer not to have my author info on there. Allow workbook and its data to be downloaded by others. It's nice that you have this option. By default, it's not selected. Uh, it's up to you, your call. Obviously, if you're doing this for my class and you've got some of that proprietary data, you're not going to check that. Save it. 
All right, and here's our chart. Just like it looked like in Tableau, but it saves it right here with the default chart selected. Now, the actually, the entire workbook is posted here. It hasn't given us details or the ability to click on each sheet or dashboard like we could before, but that's what we, we're going to use the JavaScript API to do. So anyway, what we want is to keep track of this link right here. So we'll stop this video right now and pick up with uh, the JavaScript API in the next one.